All right, all right, all right, all right. We rolling, we rolling. Focus, is it focusing? Man, I should have put my contacts in. I think we're focused. What is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Um, I'm gonna try and keep this short and sweet, which is not my specialty, but we're gonna do it. Um, just a quick update video on the condition of my foot and the 2022 Chicago Marathon. If you watched my last video, uh, you will have seen that I started experiencing some kind of injury. Um, so I just want to walk through that for a couple minutes, uh, explain what's going on, and then share how you guys might be able to help me out with, uh, with this process. So beginning of May 2022, I ran the Pittsburgh Marathon. Took like a week and a half off um, post-marathon just to recover, regroup, and then really slowly started to kind of introduce some mileage back in. And then the first week of June, um, I started to hit the mileage uh, kind of hard to get ready to start my marathon training block uh, there in the second or third week of June. So um, I put in about 30 miles. Throughout that week, I started experiencing some plantar fascia pain in the arch of my left foot. It wasn't excruciating. It wasn't too painful to run on or anything like that. Um, so I kept running on it, no problem. And then on June 5th, uh, I went out for a, a 13 mile run, uh, with a couple of friends. And by the time I got back to the parking lot where we had parked our cars, uh, I had a, there ironically enough was no pain happening in the arch of my foot. All the pain I was feeling was in the top of my foot, uh, kind of right down the middle tried to run the following day and I got a mile down the road before it was like excruciating and I, I couldn't I couldn't run anymore so I kind of limped it back home um, called the doctor right away to, to uh, schedule getting some x-rays and whatnot went in got some x-rays they were there's nothing that showed up in the x-rays but um, given what I was feeling and the kind of evidence to that point the doctor was concerned that I at least had a stress reaction um, which if I didn't let it rest up or heal could develop into a stress fracture if it wasn't already a stress fracture. Uh, was able to get an MRI scheduled. It took about 10 days, I think, from the time when I got the x-rays to when I got the MRI. Uh, and then it took another week before I was able to get into the doctor um, and get the MRI results. So that brought us up to July 4th, I think, 4th or 5th. Um, Sure enough, I went in for my, my doctor's appointment with the orthopedic surgeon and found out I did indeed, or do indeed, have a stress fracture in my third metatarsal in my foot, um, which really sucks. Uh, you know, it, it kind of throws a wrench in things, but also it's, it's just kind of um, par for the course. I don't know many runners who at some point along their journey of of uh, running haven't had a stress fracture. It's not like a horrendous injury in the sense that uh, I can't function in the day to day. Like I'm walking around fine. I'm not even limping when I'm walking. Uh, but if I were to run uh, and continue to run with this stress fracture, it could develop into a full blown fracture where the bone actually snaps completely. Uh, and then it's a much worse injury than it is now. So what that does for my Chicago Marathon plans is, well, it, it destroys them. <laughs> I would have had to start training realistically the middle of June uh, to be on track and in shape to run Chicago in the beginning of October. The, the initial onset of my pain was June 5th. And when I got the diagnosis of stress fracture was July 5th. So I'm four weeks into the healing process. The orthopedic doctor, um, he, he suggested that it'll probably be another month, another four weeks, possibly more, um, before I can run again. Um, so completely obliterates my Chicago marathon plans, but, uh, it kind of gives me a, a fun, um, a fun journey to bring you guys along on the recovery process and taking it pretty much from from square one in terms of running and training and getting back into marathon shape. So I'm, I'm thinking I'm probably going to film that process uh, and bring you guys along on that journey because really I'm kind of starting from square one because I at this point I haven't really run 
since my marathon, the beginning of May, a lot of my fitness is going to be gone. So it's going to be kind of like starting over to a, to a degree. So, um, if you are potentially looking forward to that journey, that kind of content, do me a favor, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Um, cause it'll be, yeah, it'll, it'll, I'm going to do that. Yeah. In the meantime, a huge favor, something you guys can really, really help me out with is I was running the Chicago Marathon uh, for charity. So I was running it with Team Red Cross. And part of that fundraising is since you've kind of taken the, the, the spot of somebody else who could run the race, um, you are, you're kind of on the hook for that amount that you, that you agreed to fundraise. In this case... Uh, it was like, it's like $1,900 or something like that. Since I canceled my registration before we hit the halfway point, uh, I don't owe the full 1900. I think I owe $875 of that fundraising goal still, even though I'm not able to run the race. Um, and so if you guys, uh, watch this channel, um, and you would be so kind as to help me out and still donate to a, a great cause, even though I'm not running the race, it would be greatly appreciated because I'm still going to have to pay uh, that amount of money to the Red Cross as part of uh, the agreement that I was going to run this race and raise this money for their charity. So I'm going to drop a link in the description of this video. Um, if you guys feel so inclined, go to that link, drop five, one sec dehumidifier kicked on um if you guys were feeling up to it and had an extra five or ten dollars to spare um i would really really appreciate it i know things are crazy expensive right now and and money is tight for everybody but um yeah it would just mean the world to me if you guys could help me hit that fundraising goal and so yeah that's it. That's the video. I just want to throw out a quick update uh, about what was going on with my foot. I appreciate all the love on my last video. I got a, a, you know, a handful of DMs and whatnot over on Instagram um, and you know, here in the comments on YouTube just about you know, people just wishing me well and, and, and letting me know they were thinking about me in this recovery process. So I appreciate you guys. And last but certainly not least, uh, go ahead and like it, subscribe, whatnot. It really does help out the channel. With that, I'm going to jump off. I'm going to edit this thing up real quick and get it posted before the weekend rolls in. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Much love. Peace.